Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with an update here. This is going to be my New York Toy Fair 2019 vlog 008. Yes, I'm still doing vlogs from Toy Fair. I got a bunch of uh, footage and other things to put out there. But, you know, in, in the meantime, in between time, in between segments from Toy Fair, I'm doing a little display work and giving you updates like I normally do on the channel anyway. So, Black Panther, I actually uh, took some advice from somebody who commented on uh, my video, my last vlog, where I said I was kind of displeased with the uh, look of the Black Panther that I received, that it had some QC issues. And um, I sent it in. Well, I sent the email and um, they got back to me and said to send it that they would send me a new one, a replacement out right away. And they did. And it came today and I sent out the old one. And this new one looks much better. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, definitely more pleased with the look of this guy. The teeth around the neck and the stitching and everything looks good. And also, shout out to my man, John Connor. I think I had mentioned this in the previous vlog, too. Uh, I hit up... Um, uh, Michael's there's a Michael's actually near me me and my daughter went there on a on a little field trip and uh, she picked up some stuff and I picked up this little starry backdrop which is cool I'm liking the way this is looking and uh, yeah we're gonna get into the second segment of the NECA walkthrough with my man Danny LeBlanc and uh, Stefan of NECA so enjoy that I'll be back with you shortly Godzilla King of the Monsters. Will it be a hit? Most likely. The figures will be anyway. Godzilla's been a huge hit for us at Target and online. So we're keeping it going. This year focusing more on the new film. Uh, since there's so many other creatures coming in that film, we thought we'd focus on that. Um, we'll still trickle out some of the classics here and there, but this year it's all about the new movie for us. We're going to release the regular version, Godzilla colored version. Um... This is an all-new sculpt. It's not just a reuse of the 2014 one. It's an all-new sculpt, all-new articulation. No more wires in the tail. Be a fully articulated tail. Okay. Fully articulated wrists, as much as we put it in there. There will be a second version of Godzilla later on with the blast effect, the atomic blast type of blue. Uh, and we're also showing Mothra and Rodan. Rodan will have two heads and come with his base, and, Rodan, and Mothra will also come with his base and a flight stand. Looks like it's coming out of the egg. Yeah, it's bursting out of its cocoon type thing, and as the new butterfly, it'll have articulated wings. We got some vintage style as well. Some old school style. We've got 62 Kong Versus. That shipped uh, earlier this year. And we've got the poster art from 1956 version, the repainted one. And he will actually come with a backdrop that you can pose him in front of just with that. So, For Turtles, two packs been a hit at Target, and we're keeping them going. These cartoon two packs are hitting very soon. They were just announced this week. Um, and we got Bebop and Rocksteady coming That's out later this year. That is a debut that we're showing those off for the first time, and people are very excited about that. Uh, a couple years ago, we released the pack as an eight pack with all the cartoon yep. figures. Um, some of the the pizza box and other items are specific to that set, um, but now at least this gets it out to retail. So. Everybody now, are those going to be pre-orderable at Target, or is that just going to be... I believe Target put it up for pre-order. I'm not sure how it's going to work. It, I know that it has shipped and it's arriving soon. Okay. So if anything, it'll be a short pre-order window. Uh, these aren't coming out like later this year. These are shipping now and will be there soon. So check out your local Target. and. Um, so what made the transition originally when you guys put out this set about a couple years ago... There was, oh, the has to be a convention exclusive. How yeah. did that relationship change with uh, Nickelodeon and Playmates in order to make this happen? Uh, Randy works miracles with, a, with the licenses and loopholes, and he was able to discuss with them and negotiate further that uh, what if we just made it specific stores in general. At the time, we didn't have anything at Target. Uh, when those came out, well, only within the last year we've been at Target. Mm -hmm. So that allows us to open up at Target and GameStop for other exclusive okay. options. Uh, previously, we had only sold um, at Toys R Us and our own stores, etc., and mom and pop stores. So now that we're in more of a mass market uh, avenue with the Turtles, we can make them GameStop, Target exclusive, okay. store exclusive specifically. Let's talk about uh, some more of these six-inch guys from GameStop. 
That's right. They're hitting now. Uh, fan demand has been very high. Crazy. Crazy high. And they've been yelling at GameStop. I think they can't get them out fast enough, right? So um, just be patient, and uh, they'll show up. I know some people that arrive on Tuesday get it Thursday, you know, so it just depends on how fast the, the FedEx courier yeah. can get it so on their stuff. So this is a GameStop issue. This is not a NECA issue. Yeah, they have all okay. the product. It just depends on your location or so how much they actually stock. End. Yeah, okay. how much they actually stock, and GameStop's working around the clock to get it out there. It's just I know that, a lot of people had said that uh, their orders were canceled due to fulfillment, but I've seen Randy... I pushed it and yes. assured the community that yeah. they will be able to find the them. The product is there. They will be out there. It just takes, you know, like any store, um, Target might not have everything in your area yep. day one. You know, so you just got to be patient and work with them. Um, so we got a couple more quarter inch. A quarter scale figures. We've got Shredder that we're showing for the first time here. Um, he actually has a removable faceplate in the front, so you yeah, can take see the that damage off. Behind. See the damage behind it. He has multiple hands. He comes with his knife with the sheath. Um, a lot of people have been asking about the elastic band around the waist. Those are to hold the weapons. Okay. So Foot Clan comes with so many weapons, you can slide that in his elastic band or take it off if you want. Um, we're showing Shredder there for the first time. His cape is removable, so you can clip the, you can unclip the front there, mm -hmm. um, and then you can flank some foots with him as well. So, so big question. Six inch. Uh, stay tuned. That's all I'll say. Stay tuned and uh, buy what you can now. <laughs> I also was able to pick up these little trees here from Michaels as well. They were like $9 per two pack, which is a little expensive. I got three packs, but now I want more. They scale pretty well here with the uh, Iron Giant, the Sentinel uh, Iron Giant. Wait, is this Sentinel? I don't know what this is. Was this 1,000 toys? Yeah, 1,000 toys. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Sentinel. Sentinel was the old one, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I like the way they uh, they look under the light, too. It's real nice. Uh, they're popping nicely. I actually use some of the clips that <laughs> that you would use to uh, put together the uh, GTP space walls and clip them at the bottom of the tree so they could uh, stand up right here so I didn't have to, like... Uh, um, use any wax or anything to the to the base of the diorama. I didn't want to mess up the base of the diorama, but yeah, these are cool. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more of these. That's crispy.